Hey, how y'all doing? It's another episode of Truth Seeking Trucker. We're getting our, our Father's Word in Genesis chapter 32. Let's begin with a prayer. Father God, we pray for your protection over our home, over our communities, over our churches, over our country, over our elected officials, whether we agree with them or not. May the angels of the Lord minister into their ear. May they seek God's face before the appreciation of men for walking that straight and narrow path that leads to Jesus Christ isn't always easy, Lord, but it is definitely worth it at the end. Holy Spirit, give us eyes to see and ears to hear so we better understand your holy word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Chapter 32 of Genesis to rehash in 31. Um, Jacob left the servitude of Laban, the father of Rachel, Leah and Rachel, and was told by God to return to the land of Canaan. So let's get going. Chapter 32, verse 1, and it reads, And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. Verse 2, And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that mountain Mahaniam, Mahanam. Verse 3, and Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, and to the, to the land of Seir in the country of Edom. And we know where Edom, the country Edom, is where uh, Esau resides at. So let me go ahead and get there. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get that. Verse... Uh, Verse 4, and he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my Lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob saith thus, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. Verse 5, and I have oxen and asses and flocks and manservants and woman servants, and I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. So Jacob sending some of his servants to give a messenger to his brother Esau. And you could tell that a normal person wouldn't tell all of the goods that they have if they thought that if they were trying to um, guard it from someone. So it was, and maybe his, I'm speculating, maybe Jacob's heart was he missed his brother, right? After all the mirrors, you bring in, uh, uh, Maybe possible a peace offering. Verse 6. And the messenger returned to Jacob saying, We come to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee. And 400 men with him. So he's bringing himself a, a, a battalion size, two battalion size uh, element. Right? That's something that's a, a very significant amount of uh, manpower. Verse 7, then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with them, and the flocks and the herds and the camels into two bands. Verse 8, and he said, if Esau come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. So this was a strategically very smart of Jacob. Obviously, God is the origin of his wisdom and his knowledge, but this is a, 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 a playbook out of anybody's military, sending scouts to find out what their true motives are. And, um, you know, he's kind of he's he's kind of at the mercy of the Lord to protect him as well. But um, he's working on damage control if Esau comes with malice in his heart verse 9 and jacob said "O god of my father abraham and god of my father isaac the lord which say it say this unto me return unto thy country and to thy kindred i will deal with thee verse 10 i am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant for with my staff i passed over this jordan and now i am become two bands so the word hebrew means pass over the river 
right? Those who pass over the river. And uh, which river was that? The Jordan. Verse 11. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me. And the mother with the children. Verse 12. And thou saidest, I will surely to thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for a multitude. So we got Jacob pleading for God and his intervention. For the last he met, Esau was a hot-headed man. Verse 13. And he lodged there that same night and took of that which came to his hand as a present for Esau his brother. Verse 14. 200 she-goats, 20 he-goats, 200 ewes, and 20 rams, 15, 30 milk camels and their colts, 40 kine and 10 bulls, 20 she-asses and 10 foals. Verse 16, and he delivered them into the hand of his servants, ever drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, pass before me, and put a space betwixt or between uh, I lost my place drove and drove so he he's telling them to take these and to uh create a, create a separation between us and between us too and um this way they shall know uh, uh again if things to go south He's ready for it. Verse 17. And uh, God did not speak to uh, to Jacob at this point. He did tell him to go into Canaan. Right? And at, at that point, if God tells you to go somewhere, we got to look and look at to where God does not speak in vain. And he's got everything covered from A to B. Yes, it was good that Jacob... Um, presented his fears over because we're, we're human beings it's good to present our fears to god right but we but in in the same realm we need to trust them uh as well you know and um once we build that confidence and we push our emotions that really are make us make bad decisions um sometimes i'm not saying we need to be robots but um, it's another way for God to say, hey, just trust me. Trust me on this. Verse uh, 17. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau, my brother, meeteth thee, and asked thee, saying, Whose out thou, and wouldest thou goest thou? Who, Whose are these before thee? Verse 18. Then thou shalt say, they be thy servant Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my Lord Esau. And behold, also he is behind us. Verse 19. And so commanded he the second and the third and all that followed the droves, saying on the matter, Shall ye speak unto Esau when you find him? Verse 20. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face, peradventure, or perhaps he will accept of me. Verse 21. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. Verse 22. And he rose in that night and took his two wives and his two woman servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford Jabuk. 23. And he took them and he sent them over the brook and sent them over the land. So he prepared them to uh, in a place where there is more secure, uh, more safe from possible retaliation from Esau. Verse 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. So that word man is Enosh. Now, a funny thing is um, some petitals will, will say that this was God or this was an angel. 
Um, and we're going to go ahead and find out straight from the straight from the Bible, verse 25. And that word man, it's there is no uh, gives us any more hint. Uh, it's ish. Also to uh, G Jehovah Elohim in the in the um, in the sidebar in the side re uh, reference. So Jacob wrestled with God. So in a sense, God, there's no way you can wrestle with God. He's he's huge, and he's, and the huge is uh, is minimizing his his size and his strength and his. But you know, Jacob was uh, speaking to him. And a lot of it's a mystery of what was said, you know, but let's go ahead and keep going. Verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. So now he's got one leg to stand. <laughs> yeah. There's 26. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. So Jacob wanted his blessing. Verse 27, he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and hast prevailed. So their interaction God blessed him, and this would be the beginning of the 12 tribes of Israel. He is the patriarch of the 12 tribes. Now, he only has 11 sons right now, but eventually Rebekah, his, the one he was fond of the most, will have a son named Benjamin. And Benjamin means uh, um, means son of my, my, my right hand. As we'll find out when, on the day Rebekah dies, She's called names him Benjamai, which means the son of my suffering. But then Jacob renamed him Benjamin, which means the son of my right hand. So we know in the in the land of uh, Bethlehem, where a lot of the Benjamite tribe live, is where the Christ child uh, was born. And um, again, where there's a reference to Rebecca when. Um, she was crying in, in the New Testament over the children that were being killed it was because Herod sent in his uh, his uh, soldiers to take out the newborn baby boys to stop the Christ child from uh, taking power. Hmm. It all lines up, right? All right. Verse 29, and Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore it is that thou dost ask for my name. And he blessed him there. Verse 30, and Jacob called the name of the place Benio, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. Verse 31, and as he passed over Benio, which let me give me one second. I didn't look it up, but let's go ahead and see. It means God's face. Verse 31. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him and he halted upon this thigh. 32. Therefore, the children of Israel ate not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of thy thigh until this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew and shrank. So it took something out of Jacob to wrestle with God. Um, he did not leave uh, unscathed. He did suffer um, greatly, but he did it for his uh, his generations to come. And in, and this was God's plan coming to pass that uh, would be the story from. Adam uh, being the first that brought death and the second Adam, who is Jesus Christ, who brought life. So Adam to Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who would come, who would uh, bloodline from umbilical cord to umbilical cord, would uh, 
give birth to King David and then 14 generations from King David to Babylon and from Babylon, 14 generations to Jesus Christ. I believe that's in Matthew 117. All right. God bless you. Take care and have a great rest of your day.